Hi there, today's quick tip focuses on the awkward subject of fixing bass player's timing without ever letting them know you're doing it. Admittedly, in this track it's not just a bass, but I'm in the mood to start with a bass. So let's double click on the track and open up the sample edit window. I'm using the audio warp tool, so I'm going to turn on musical mode and the free warp mode. So I can hear exactly what I need to hear. I've got the sample edit mode in solo and I'm using the click track. If there is no warp tab on a note that I want to correct, it's just a matter of going over and clicking on the note and dragging it to where I want it to be and a new warp tab automatically appears. When there is a warp tab, I click on the top and move it towards the note and instantly the note will move over straight onto the grid. This helps us achieve tight timing and it's going to make the bass player feel great when he hears it. Every now and then check your sections with the click track. Okay, it's getting much tighter. I can hear that already and you can see it visually. You're probably scratching your head thinking, why hasn't he just audio warp quantized this? Well, usually I would. And then I would go in and I would use the audio warp tool just to double check and correct anything that's slightly off. Today I'm going through and doing a number of edits by hand so you can see just how easy it is. The audio warp timing tool will work on virtually anything you've recorded inside of your project. I've been a bit harsh on bass players throughout this video. To be honest, the bass player didn't have the click track in his headphones. He only had the acoustic guitar player. Now the acoustic guitar player had the click, but he was recorded a week earlier. Confused? Well, it was a confusing recording environment, but sometimes that's what we're up against. So Cubase has tools like the audio warp tool to make it as easy as possible to correct the timing of tracks that have been recorded under extraordinary circumstances. The audio warp tool is the best tool you should never let musicians know you used. That's my final tip for the video.